Welcome back guys, my name is Major Freak and you are watching my Total War Rome to Rome campaign as the Julii. Um, yeah, I think it's about time to prepare for the extermination of the Etruscan League by getting some more Hastati and Felites. And we are finally going to build up our little settlements, at which I have noticed a small mistake I made. I need to dismantle this current position. But we are finally going to increase these settlements. I still think it's a damn nice mechanic that the city actually grows on the campaign map. And we are going to start researching civil technology to get some more wealth. Now, of course, one thing we do need is new food. And, well, that's about it, actually. Uh, well, yeah. Ending the turns doesn't take as long at the start, so... For now, I will just keep the end turn phase in it. Yeah. So, a new trade for Scipio Ashina which is a general in Alalia, commander of the 2nd Garrison Legion. Now think about it, I want him to have Your one orders. more levy. This guy needs to have to one more ship. Complete. Now, wow, oh yeah, I already looked at this one. Uh, Trouble Populous, Magna Gratia, it's currently a bit unhappy just because of all the cultural differences and the slaves, so we could probably expect a rebellion here but now it's time to take the fight to these Etruscan League scum alright so the agent is doing a great job let's get her some more cunning and we can now see that they have a ton of Italian spearmen which is why we will absolutely dominate them because we have a ton of skirmish units and well we actually have the same amount of skirmish and melee units so let's just use them to see what the odds are they are currently a bit in our favor but we can do better than that what the auto result says so i will see you on the battlefield so the battle has just started and i position my guys in a way that we can easily outrun them should it be necessary so we will start by moving up our skirmish units to these two locations to get a bit of pincer movement on. We will do the same with the Hastadi which are in formation toggles. So by moving them like that they will get here a bit less fatigued while we can engage the enemy with the skirmish troops. Now again, they have Italian noble calf, so that might be a bit of a pain in the ass, but this time we have plenty of skirmishes to take care of them. I don't know how many skirmishes the enemy has, however. I know, do know that they have at least two levy slingers, and, well, here they have two levy skirmishers, so that might be it. I don't know till we get into a real fight. And boy oh boy do I love a cigarette on days when it's cold as today. If you're wondering how cold it exactly is in terms of yeah degrees in Celsius, it's about two and a half outside and fourteen inside. I do not know how much that is in Fahrenheit however so might be time for me to actually start looking that up so I can actually tell you guys so as you can see these are studies still fresh despite already having moved a large distance and they keep running in the same formation so if they get attacked or whatever we can just quickly deploy them no problem 
Now, they are leaving their flank quite vulnerable, so I will actually move up a little bit more. And I will do the same with the Hastadi, which will be really close behind. Some of my fellow days have already opened fire, however I did not order that, so they will remain as they are. However, these levies will move up to engage these slingers. Uh, come on, slingers die, slingers die. So they are already taking quite a pounding. Uh, let's get our Valates a bit more up so we can all engage this single Italian spearman. So move like that. Now these slingers are taking one large pounding in their guardian spearman as well. So it's time to decimate this unit with a volley. And we have absolutely decimated them. So it's time to halt our fire again. Our stadion are finally in range, so we can start relying on them. And I want to take care of these slingers no matter what the threat is they face. So let's see. These guys are moving into position, so... Wow, that did a lot of damage to them. So we will now halt and toggle fire at will. These levy slingers are taking quite a beating, so... These four guys will now start to move up. Like this. Oh man, Felidays are just too OP right now. Especially when the enemy has a back turn toward, uh, towards them. Ah, that's how you pronounce it, I think. I currently cannot tell for sure because my English pronunciation in certain words is not as I'd like, that, uh, as I'd like it to be. So, let's start engaging some enemies here. We will still move slowly as to remain fresh for as long as possible. We have delivered one hell of a beating to them. Still are. So it's about time that the Felites took on another target, like these Italian Noble Cav, if they remain in range long enough. So we already took down a lot of horses in the first volley, whilst these guys are getting butchered. Well, so is the Noble Cav, actually. <laughs> I don't want to be that noble calf right now. Having so many javelins fired up your ass. No! Hold men. Yeah, let's hold fire. Uh, it can't be that good for morale to have a ton of friendly fire. Wait. Done. Let's get you in as well. So we can now pretty much fast forward, we have decimated the enemy, there's almost nothing left. I want to get rid of that unit, so let's put a few javelins in their back to destroy them. Come on. Astadiano is actually pretty reliable in comparison towards other units. Or, yeah, before I actually added this mod. So most of their units are already shaken, it won't be long. Here we go, they are shattered. So I will see you on the campaign map. The end of the Etruscan League 
has arrived, they have nothing left. So that means that enemies won't be able to join them in order to destroy me. So now we will reduce unit recruitment cost, which is a great way to get some additional stuff going. And we need manipular organization in order to build a manipular barracks. But we will not do that yet. So this building in Armenum will get destroyed. But we have a bit of spare money, so I will put that into harbors in order to increase the wealth, which in turn increases the Ready income I have. So we have a bit of money left and I would put that into another unit of Hastadi because they can be pretty useful at times. And then we can go and see whether or not the, Pata the guys at Patavium, the Helvetii or Elf, uh, Fenerci or whatever are interested in a little skirmish. And I forgot we have a new edict to employ, which will be bread and games, as always. More food equals more growth. And more happiness equals more growth, which is really welcome right now. So, we finally researched land management, we now have the bread and games edict over here and we will be able to build a consecrated ground. And over here we can start building some temples to or shrine to Minerva. Now, um, yeah, as much as I like to do stuff, these turns will go by rather quickly. Can we raise another force with the Julii commander? Nope, we cannot, which is too bad. Um, we can, however, upgrade this Roman village to increase more wealth, and we will do that. Think, well, one more turn, then the entire army has been replenished. So let's start up on some s philosophy to get some dignitaries up. Dignitaries will really boost the efficiency of cultural conversion. Or at least I think they will. When they are upgraded of course. So we can finally build a shrine over here to boost happiness and conversion to Latin. Um, yeah. Oh, thank God. I thought for a second there that the general I was investing in, in an authority, got a bullshit trade. Well, I kinda like that tra uh, trade, however, not really necessary. So yet again here, Shrines of Minerva, we need to get some additional research up real fast. Even though it's only 2%, it will help in the long run. And now we can go prepare for a war with the Venetci, who are really weak. So I will disband that guy and get some additional of these troops in and turn again so next time we can take over Batavium or Batavium there are a lot of different pronunciations for those settlements but I really don't care Plague well it's an Alalia I don't really care and it's a general I don't like anyway. So these guys have been pretty much weakened a lot. They have a ton of Celtic skirmishes which could be a true pain in the ass. However we have a full stack army. So we can pretty much take them on. How the Dalmatai... Oh the, that are those guys. Right. Now I know. Um, yeah we will fight this after we do some more campaign map stuff. 
like, for instance, another Shrine of Minerva. And, well, I don't really have enough money for that, so we will build a Roman Colonia over at Rome itself to get some more wealth. Like, you can already see Italia has 2900 wealth, Africa has 2400 because I'm using mod that boosts certain uh, provinces. Like it was in real life. I mean Rome was a millionaire city so it should be in the game. So, I think that is enough, so we will fight this, I will see you on the battlefield. So, the battle has been on the way for a bit, and it appears that they are going to hill camp, so we are going to respond uh, to that by sending in our skirmishers. Uh, activate quick re reload quick when you deem it necessary. Uh, same here. Like that, get our army in position. We have melee superiority, for the, yeah, but they definitely have calf advantage. And they have a ton of slingers that I need to get rid of somehow. So I will get you guys up there. And you guys over there should be a good addition you guys will go over here you guys will go over there so they are shifting once again this time in our favor I have made my position rather awkward Most of their units are now being engaged. Oh, come on. Don't tell me that you're all withdrawing now. Um, let's get you into a control group and start charging in. Now we absolutely cut these guys to pieces. They have insulted me long enough. Now, where is my general? Oh, rally and inspire. The gods are watching. So. Let's see how we do when we completely surround these guys. Which unit is this? Ah, a unit that is completely... So, yeah, one uh, disadvantage of these guys is right now they are being absolutely whacked by javelins due to the fact that they are so slow. You there, get charging in. You have a bonus versus infantry of 10, so this should have pretty much disrupted their entire formation. Um, General, where are you? You're over here. Oh wait, you're still engaging those guys. And I don't know why, but somehow I think it helps to actually press multiple times. Come on, Lebo, get your act together. Come on, get activated or motivated. Come 
Come on, guys, get in there. Kill off this noble horse. They are not so good anymore. Come on, react to my orders already. Alright, so in order to prevent the, my general from dying... Yes, finally, this should be the end. Good. So, we didn't really lose anything important and wipe out a settlement, so... That is pretty much good. And we can now field additional spies and stuff. So, pretty much a successful assault. Um, yeah. Let's end the turn, get some more research going. We are now still at 102%, so that is not enough. We need a lot more. I want to research, like, well, get legionnaires at around 30 We have in. fine goods, and you doubtless have much to... And we need money, so I will accept that trade offer. So, scholarship has been done. We have had some attrition. Um, Tribal populace, Cisalpina. I don't really care about them. Get some more research going. And, well, you know what? I'm just going for this line straight away. How may I see? see, how are you doing? You need a... We will dry them out a bit first before going in. Well, I'm tempted, but yeah, let's get some auxiliary horse. I do not really care about upkeep cost right now, so while we're at it, some ships and over here some more levies for garrison to get this province happy. We now have 106% research rate, which is absolutely great. Next turn it will be 110. So, yeah, 10% on the long run is quite a bit. Now, do I have... No, I only have bullshit generals, so... I need to play around with that a little bit. This cursor guy is annoying me, so he definitely needs to die. And he will do that pretty soon. So, Cursor, where are you? You will reinstate the legacy of the 3rd Legion and get some Triari. Ready for battle. Ready you will not lead the assault, but you will die in the assault. Huh. Damn Spy leveled up again. So, some more cunning and some more poisoning ability. Poisoning is always fun. <sighs> All the time that flies by. Well, I will make a dignitary soon enough. Uh, Trouble populous Italia. Wait, are you trouble? Ah, yes, you're going happy already, so... No real worries here. We have bread and games here, so... Well, don't know what happens. We have some additional ships. Ready for orders. So, let's get you a bit closer to the front line. And recruit some more. Assembling the fleet. They will come in handy. Uh, Let's see, Magna Gracia is outraged. So in about five more turns we will have a rebellion here. So 
yeah, I'm just gonna leave that for now. Like Guria, are you at war with those guys? Yes, you are, so now would be the perfect time to strike My against both of them. I do. So, poisoning has been successful. Lebo, we will declare war at those guys. No will escape. Besieging the settlement. Maintain siege. And get you as close as possible. So, how are the odds? They have a ton of skirmishes, so... We even have some quote-unquote allies to help us out, so... Who knows? Maybe it will be fun. And before I do anything, I need to remember, this guy also needs a research rate thingy. So, with this, the episode will come to an end. Next turn, uh, or next time, Attack! we'll have the Battle of Medlan. So, until then, goodbye and thank you for watching. And as always, feel free to comment and subscribe to my channel for more of these videos. Oh!